Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer game review. Today's game of the hip hop is called Magnets the Game. Magnets the Game comes in this little tin box, this little tin here, and it's going to include magnets and a type of belt. The game's pretty simple. You're going to get five magnets and you're going to be throwing them into this little ring, and you're trying to collect magnets via chain reactions. Players are going to be going back and forth, taking turns with their magnets they have to throw them into the ring to collect stacks of four or more magnets. If you can collect the most, by the time there is less than three magnets remaining in the pool, you're the winner, and if you throw any out, you can distribute them to people who don't have any magnets left. The game will keep going until that happens, and at that point, whoever has the most magnets is the winner of the game. Magnets, the game. Let's check it out. All right, so here's Magnets the Game, and we're just gonna go ahead and open it and show you how to set it up and how to play the game. Pretty straightforward. You get a tin, and it's gonna just open just like this. It's gonna come with the rules that are attached inside. You just go ahead and read them. It's very, very simple explanation. It comes with a couple of these guys here. Where they have magnets, and you toss, cause a stack. You can retrieve them. So this is basically like the magnet stack piles here. And, bam, we'll take these guys out here. As, as well, as you can see, the magnets are attached to the tin here. These have got little uh, dime-sized magnets. And then we'll just set this aside. You're also going to get this little belt here, which you can unattach itself. It's pretty simple, and you're going to put it together like this. Let's see if I can do it. And come on, baby. Nice, no problem. And attach it like that. And you can set up kind of to your own sizing. So we'll just have it something like that. We're gonna distribute out five magnets to each player. So if we're playing with three players, they're each going to get five magnets. And the rest of them are going to be set out onto the, onto the board. And you can go ahead and uh, set them up how you like. Make sure they don't connect to each other though. And there's uh, quite a lot of magnets. So you could play up to, I believe, four players, three or four players. Eh, four players, I think, would be good. There we go. Now we got the whole thing set up. Pretty easy, right? This is where we'll have our charitable distribution area. So if you throw magnets outside of the ring, they're going to go here. On your turn, you take one of your magnets that you have, and you toss it into the ring. Bam. Not very good of me. And then it's going to continue going. Now, only time it's going to stop is when somebody gets four more magnets. Bam. Any more? Nope. Okay, so he's got five magnets here. It'll go into his stack that's added to his collection, and the next player is going to get to go. Nope. Look at that. There you go. Let's see if I can... No! Oh, that was awful. This guy's not doing so well. And the game's just going to continue like this until, until people run out of magnets, which will eventually happen. And then there's only three magnets left in the bin. I wonder what happens if everybody runs out of magnets. I guess you would just keep going. Let's see if I can... Ah, oh, nope. Well, that's an interesting one. I think that's four right there. That is four. Oh, put this back. I was lucky for him. But as you can see, that's kind of what how it works. I got four more here. And players are going to keep going. As they collect them, they're going to be putting them into their stack until eventually there's only going to be less th three or less magnets because then you can't really make stacks anymore. It's going to be more difficult. And you're going to look and see who has the most magnets. You'll take the magnets and you'll put them next to each other as best you can because they're magic magnets, and it'll be first, second, and third place. Like I said before, if any of these fall out of the ring, you're going to put them over here and distribute them to players who don't have magnets as equally as possible. And then after you're done, you're going to take all the magnets and you're going to separate them as best as you can and we'll try and put it back into the box here. So we'll take this thing, this little rope here, and pull it out. And then we'll set these guys up. It's kind of interesting how, how it works, but you get these guys attached in a way. And we'll do a quick, speedy way to show you how it's set up. And as you see, that's how you set the game up and how you take it down. And it's pretty simple. Just throw in magnets. And depending on the surface area, it's going to be slippery. It's going to be more easier, more difficult to put the magnets together. And it's a carrying hoke case. So once you're done, you should take it and go. All right, so that was basically how you play Magnets the game. It comes in a little tin, put it together, play it, put it up. Nice and easy carrying case. And it works well. If you like games like Marbles, those original style games, it's definitely um, a game from, from the older generation, kind of modernized into using now magnets instead of kind of balls. There is some trick shots to it. Uh, we were able to do quite a few of them while we were playing, however, not so much in the video because 
But once again, I'm no, I'm no good at these trick shot games. I enjoy them, but just can't seem to get them right. Um, and it's cool too because you watch the marbles. You have to actually wait until they fully stop because you can get more and more as the kind of the magnets kind of move around the board in their own weird way and just connect. And players, they have their different ways they can throw them to the side, and you'll see some crazy stuff. And usually for me, I just toss it and it goes right on the table and it's done. But I've seen players do some pretty cool stuff with it. Uh, so I think this is one of those things where you kind of know specifically if it's going to be something you're into. It's a game I definitely pick up and play. I if I saw, I saw it somewhere and somebody's like, want to throw some throw some magnets around i'd be like heck yeah i don't mind doing that at all and uh i'm, I'm sure it's gonna be one of those uh, niche things for certain people some might not enjoy the dexterity aspect of it and some some will and uh yeah i i, I have much else to say about it other than throwing magnets trying to collect them as best you can it's fun it's cool if you like the little dexterity games it's definitely something you should consider picking up i'll leave a link in the description below for you to go ahead and check out magnets the game